Welcome to a really quick guide on the resources we have already on Godomy Online, showing you how you might use Godomy Online to support your students if we have a period of closure at Godomy College and we have to support them purely remotely. This screencast is just me showing you some resources. They are not the college expectations. SMT will have laid out really clearly what the expectations are and this is just helping you meet those but also giving you some tools if you want to go over and above. Really this is just going to be a summary. Not trying to do any training here, just trying to show you uh, the Godomy Online help page where what's currently available and also we're going to be sticking some new stuff up as well. If you have any ideas, please, 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 this is not supposed to be us pumping information out to you. We want people to share practice. We want us to help each other. Uh, if you're doing something over and above, which I'm sure many of you are, then we really would love to know about it and uh, add it to the training. Well, let's get on with it. Um, I'm just logged in as a normal teacher and obviously when I go to my courses I can see my list of courses. One thing you may, may or not have noticed is there is a Godalming Online help page. It's been there forever. So Liz Cross wrote a great deal of this. I chipped in with a few bits and this was really created when we we're trying to get everyone going with Godalming Online. But all of the information is still up to date and it's still relevant. There is, uh, this is actually a complete guide to using Moodle, which is the software that Godomy Online is built upon. So you can download that. That's a, a free book that you can download and read. It'd be lovely to use this uh, frequently asked questions site a little bit, uh, page a little bit more. Obviously, if you've got any questions, please just email. We can then add it to this, and then all the other people that are also having exactly the same questions uh, can click on this and see. Uh, some really really common answers okay it's not a huge amount there at the minute just a, just a few key pieces so on this site there's everything from basic text editing to how you can upload files and folders to how you can set up uh, a back-end file store called a repository where you can really quickly and easily dump vast quantities of learning resources and workbooks and worksheets uh, on without having to do almost anything with the front of Godomy Online. And that's uh, something you want to use carefully because of course it might mean that it's tricky for students to navigate, but it's really, really easy. I know that many people have already got Twitter feeds or Insta feeds on their sites. Uh, if you have got some social media and you want to feed it to your Godomy Online site, it's relatively easy, but there's a, there's a tutorial there. I know that a few people use questionnaires. There's a guide there. What I'm doing at the moment is screencasting to you. If you would like to do some screencasts, uh, once you've set it up, it is relatively straightforward and not too time consuming. There is a full page on how to do that, uh, particularly focusing on giving feedback to students, but it works for all types of screencasting. There's another entire site based on how to do quizzes, mainly multiple choice, but there's a variety of other things as well. Uh, a little bit more on how to present resource in different ways. Uh, there is also another complete page on how to set up assignments that's mainly used for collecting in assessment online. So if students have done anything from an essay to a presentation to collecting coursework. Uh, there's a variety of ways of doing it and this shows you how to set it up so that you can use rubrics or you can use peer assessment. There's all sorts of things on there. So as you can see, all the basics that you would probably want to uh, add to your Godomy Online site is listed there. And honestly, we do not mind if you've completely forgot anything we've ever told you in the past. We just want to really help people be uh, nice and slick so that you're not struggling and that we can all support our students while we're separated from, or if we're separated from them, uh, as easily as possible. I hope you found that useful. And again, don't forget to email 
don't forget to come along to the teaching and learning workshops that are going to be lunchtimes to get some live one-to-one -one help.